Welcome back to a new episode of TBH. I'm your host, Jay, specialist of thebeerheads.com. Let's get into today's episode. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a homebrew coming from Chicago, Illinois, from Manny and Jerry of M&J Homebrews. This is their unfiltered pale ale coming at 6.8% ABV, 36 IBUs. They're using Cascade and Zitho hops in this one. Zitho hops is basically a hop that's similar to Simcoe and Armorillo. Let's get this into a glass and I'll let you know what I think of this homebrew. Really, really tropical fruit a nose aroma in this one. I'm getting a lot of sweetness to this one. Very nice malty aroma. Big, big sweet tropical fruits. Picking up a lot of papaya mango in here. Giving some of that uh, just sweet apricot peach-like juice in here. Big floral notes as well. But very bready and sweet. Very malty sweet forward nose in this one. Yeah, up front, you definitely get a lot of that bitterness. Um, it lingers there. Don't get too much of that tropical fruitness that was picking up in the nose. Um, you definitely get some nice okay malt characters in here. Um, a little bit of a breadiness. But it, it, it's just overpowered by the hops in here. You get all that pine needle. Just, um, almost somewhat astringent in a way, too. It's a little dry. Um, it's not too dry, which is pretty decent for a pale ale. And the carbonation on this one is nicely done. There's a nice amount of carbonation that cleanses the palate. It's a medium light body. Um, definitely an interesting pale ale. Over, not over the top like some home brews, but a little bit more up front of that bitterness that lingers there and kind of overpowers the beer. Manny and Jerry's Unfiltered Pale Ale, 6.8% ABV, can't taste that alcohol, 36 IBUs, um, definitely get that good amount of bitterness. The thing on this one, you guys, it was a, it's, a, it's a pretty classic take on a homebrew. You can tell this is a homebrew. Um, here's my input on it. The aromas was a little bit too, too malt forward. That sweetness was there. You got a good amount of tropical fruit, um, that nice peach you know, citrusy quality that you kind of want in your IPA is kind of lacking that grapefruit aroma um, and that pine hop character and floral notes. It was overpowered by a malty sweetness um, and huge sweet tropical fruit characters. And then on the mouthfeel and everything, it was nicely done. It had that nice pale ale mouthfeel, that medium light body to a medium uh, body. Um, it had a good amount of carbonation. The thing about this one was it was lingering up front, too much, too much bitterness up front. It overpowered the beer. Uh, I couldn't get none of that malt character in the middle, kind of some breadiness. The finish, it did have a nice dryness, which you kind of want to expect for a pale ale. But overall, it was kind of lacking that nice citrusy um, feel and that malty nice touch that balances out a beer. So it was a little bit too much up front in the uh, front of the palate, you guys. All in all, this is a nice classic take on a homebrew, you guys. You guys did a good job. You know, keep doing it. That's the thing about craft beer. It's fun, and you got to keep pursuing at what you love. Um, if you guys want to send me a homebrew out there, just hit me up on my uh, email. You can get it on our website, www.thebeerheads.com. Go on our contact uh, info site right there and uh, hit us up. Let us know you want to send us a beer. We'll give you our information. We can do a little bit of things over online. Talk about that. Get your homebrew on here to have me review it. Give you a little uh, criticism and basically... Um, Critique your beer from the style, what a pale ale is all about. Other than that, you guys, like I always say, live, learn, and drink till the next time. I'm going to enjoy Manny and Jerry's homebrew. You guys should do the same.